Good morning, good morning, everyone out here in the community. This is Renee with your meditational moment. I'm delighted to be before you on this morning, just glorifying our God who is worthy, 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 worthy of all of the praises. I honor God for Minister Terrence Audrick, who is my love and the one who passes alongside me over this great ministry, this movement of God that God has entrusted us with in order for us to encourage others to live out the good success, to receive the prosperity of God, and to walk in alignment with what God would have for them in their lives. So we just enjoy um, being with you on this morning and just coming together for a time of meditation, a time where we can settle our hearts and minds and just receive from God. And so here I encourage you to just settle yourself in just a comfortable place, a comfortable position in order for you to be able to um, not be distracted or deterred by anything that is around you, but just to be able to listen as I speak and as I give what God has given us on today. And our scripture reading is found from Matthew. And I'm going to read Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to read a few verses on this morning, verses 1 through 10. And Jesus gathered around him, and he taught them. Those that he taught were the disciples. He said, God blesses those people who depend only on him. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God blesses those people who grieve. They will find comfort. God blesses those people who are humble. The earth will belong to them. God blesses those people who want to obey him more than eat or drink. They will be given what they want. God blesses those people who are merciful because they will be treated with mercy. God blesses those people whose hearts are pure they will see him. God blesses those people who make peace. They will be called his children. God blesses those people who are treated badly for doing right. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God will bless people when people insult them or mistreat them and tell all kinds of evil lies about them because of God. Be happy and excited. You will have a great reward in heaven. People did these same things in the prophets who lived long ago. And so when I read this portion of scripture, my heart leaps because it just lets us know that we are covered by an almighty God, that God sees us. He knows everything that we are experiencing, going through, and through it all. God blesses. And so that warms my heart on today. And I pray that it warms yours and encourages you in such a way that you're able to receive all that God has because God blesses. He wants to bless you in the places where you are. He wants to bless you in the things that you are doing. He wants to bless you in the ways that you're showing up for him. He wants to bless you in the ways that you are just allowing your light to be shown amongst others by showing mercy and compassion and giving and loving and serving and all the things that you continue to do. God sees you. And so our mantra for today is that God blesses. So open up your heart and your minds so that you can receive all the blessings of God. Every single day, he's pouring out blessings all over this earth for all of his children. It says it right here in his word. This happened for the prophets of old and still for today. And so we are living in the present day of God's enormous blessings. And so we're going to have our hearts open on this morning. And so as we begin to breathe and exhale, thank you, Lord. As we just raise up our arms. And lift them up. Glory to God. Just reaching up to our Heavenly Father. 
just allowing him to know that we are in just a mode of reception, just to receive all that he has for us on today, just to receive all that he wants to reveal to us on today. Thank you, Lord. And as we gently lower our arms, we exhale. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We glorify you in this moment, God. We bless you in this moment, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for how you continue to show up in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that for each and every one of us, for the characters that we exhibit, and for the way that we continue to show up on your behalf, that you are opening up windows of blessings for us. And as we breathe, Lord God, we expel all of those thoughts that may try to tell us that we're not worthy, that God is not going to bless us, that God is not pleased with what we're doing. We expel those things into the atmosphere, God, and we receive your love. Thank you, Lord. We receive your forgiveness and your mercy, and we receive the breath of today, which gives us a grand opportunity, God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Lord, we allow our thoughts to remain in you. We know that you consider us daily, that you think about each and every one of us in every part of the day, God. So we just thank you, Lord, that we're not forgotten. We thank you, Lord, that you see a way to show up for us and to bless us and to give to us and to encourage us and to strengthen us and to pour into us and to refresh us. Glory to God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, as we breathe. And in this moment, God, we humble our hearts. We humble our thoughts. And we incline our ears to hear from you. We listen, God, as your voice speaks to us and guides us for this day. Knowing, Lord, that we can do nothing without you. And so we put our own agenda aside. And we ask, Lord, that you will speak and guide us so that everything that we choose to accomplish today will align with what you have designed for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We are listening. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time that we have with you and even these precious moments that you've spoken to us. 
And God, we ask that you continue to walk with us throughout this day. That as we choose you and as we look for you, that your blessings will overshadow us. Glory to God. And that we will eternally be grateful, God, for how you bless us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We honor God for this time and we seal it in the blood of Jesus, which we know prevails, which we know has already obtained the victory. And so we walk in that victory. We walk in the blessings of God today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And as always, we encourage you to meditate on God's promises and his precepts one moment at a time and allow those moments to grow you, to nurture you, to saturate your being so that God's word is what you rely on as you make decisions and as you go forward in life. God bless you on today and remember always to go out and be great.